Hi, hey, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I just wanted to go over some updates that are going to be happening in kind of like next league. So that'd be 3.3 and it's going to be actually skill revamps, which is pretty cool. So this post just got posted here like 15, 20 minutes ago. Uh, so I haven't actually looked at it yet. So we're actually going to go ahead and jump into it right now. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Uh, we're going to have Twitch chat over here. So YouTube and Twitch, you guys can argue with each other, Kappa. Uh, I'll just put it like, I'm just going to put it over here. I'll put it over here. Actually, it's not going to, it's like not really going to fit, but oh well. Okay, so normally we wait significantly longer before discussing what's coming up in the next large content update, which is true. That's why I'm happy to read this. Um, but there's one specific area that we want to start discussing early, revamps of existing skills. Is this too loud? Is the music like too loud or is it good? I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, our plan is that each content update going forward, meaning so every like three months, three and a half months for the new leagues, um, includes a batch of revamped skills starting with June's 3.3 release. Now, the reason why I'm excited about this is I kind of am sick of threshold jewels. Uh, I think threshold jewels are pretty cool. Uh, and before they just say they're adding threshold jewels, but I think threshold jewels are cool, but like I think they need to go at some point because they kind of kill a little bit of customization. Uh, we're still in the early uh, code prototype stage for these changes, but we'd like to start making this an ongoing series of articles detailing our thoughts and progress. Okay. Improvements to underused skills. The game has many old skills, like 90%, uh, that have since been outclassed by other newer skills that perform their role better. Some skills excel in a specific situation like destroying a stationary boss or dealing significantly more damage with a specific unique item, but fall behind when taking on the majority of endgame encounters. As an example, Ice Spear performs somewhat adequately in crit builds uh, against stationary mid-range bosses, but the large number of support gems required to let it hit multiple targets makes it underwhelming against groups of enemies, which contributes to it being one of the least pop elemental hit. Uh, popular skills in recent leagues. We've given skills like Ice Spear numeric increases in the past. See, numeric isn't enough, um, which is good. I'm happy there. I'm actually really surprised to hear GGG saying this. This sounds like this sounds like someone from the actual community talking, which is cool. Um, but they still like features, tags. Features and tags are very important. Uh, over time, we'll be trying to breathe new life into underused older skills with additional mecha mechanics. Yes! Mechanics or significant mechanical reworks to make them feel like brand new skills. These will usually include an update to their visual effects. Oh, my freeze pulse MTX when uh, to bring them up to the quality of modern skills. Cold snap is such a skill on our hit list. Um, we're currently trying out a version of the skill that does the instant large damage hit in a small area, which values increase to bring it closer to the number of scaling of other cold skills, while releasing a larger pulse that chills and applies a cold damage over time, more damage over time, yes, GGG, do it! This just, okay, uh, this lets it keep its high damage hit output for those that enjoyed finding ways around the cooldown, but also provide a notable area in a way that makes going around the cooldown less, okay. It should fit into into a cold damage build wait it should fit into a cold damage build as a quick way to dispatch large weak packs while also well when used alongside other skills okay we're still in the early stages of testing skills out in real end game builds so we may see f okay fleshing out skill themes our future skill development will involve working on skill themes that can give players a flip a flavorful character style by picking skills that fit the theme often these themes will stick closer to the feel of a character or their ascendancy classes. A good example of this is the new set of corpse-based skills. Okay, we'll also be reworking and improving older skills that already share mechanics and weapon types to have more consistent theme. For example, the goal is to eventually offer the Marauder a full complement of volcanic attack skills that deal fire damage, creating a fiery chieftain theme set of skills to try it as a player progresses through the story. Infernal Blow is one skill that we are planning to improve. So they're actually trying to make the game a lot easier for new players and make it make a lot more sense. But if you still want to be creative, it's still there. That's actually, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with them saying that they want to do stuff like that. I'm a little scared to see if it kills customization, but that's way too early to speculate. 
Oh, enabling new play styles. Here we go. One of the core goals of our future skill development will be enabling new styles of gameplay. Well, just kidding. Similar to how Essence Rain and Contagion introduce an entirely new set of play, we want more skills to feel like a whole new play style. This will include taking existing skills that don't see much use and giving them unique twists or mechanics that separate them from the rest. I'm calling it right now. Elemental Hit is going to reduce target's resistance. Charge Dash was a skill intended uh, to fill a primary attack role that has a built-in movement. Path of Exile only has a few skills in this category, and only Cyclone and Flicker Strike see much use in the later game. Charge Dash was intended to fill a small role um, a, fall, a small role for elemental conversion attacks with a unique twist in the gameplay. The skill was balanced towards having an enemy in a position of a maximum overlap while rapidly moving back and forth across them. Complex endgame boss encounters and the rapid precision targeting required in the situation made the skill subpar choice for many major boss fights. The damage output just didn't feel worth uh, the effort and risk. We're trying out a new setup for this skill where the area's damage don't overlap so you don't worry about getting enemies in the zone of the greatest overlap. We can then also turn up the skill's hit damage. We're experimenting with having the skill pulse repeatedly when fully charged, so having a higher movement speed doesn't result in you having to click repeatedly. Uh, this will come with major changes on how the skill... Okay, good. I like this. I like this. Um, these significant changes to the skill keep up the fast-paced movement style when fighting regular enemies while creating a combat style on bosses that lets you focus on avoiding boss abilities and making a new... Wait, a few carefully timed moves rather than rapidly clicking and retargeting. Good. It's a good example of how we're trying to push interesting new ways to play Path of Exile. Uh, it's hard to estimate exactly how many skill revamps will be released in the content update 3.3, but our goal is to revamp around nine skills in this update, which honestly, if even just seven of those nine are like really good, that's awesome. So I'm really happy about that. Um, we will talk more specifically about the changes we're experimenting with in these new skill prototypes and how the progress is going. Cool. So I'm actually really excited to hear that. I'm, I'm super excited to hear this. Um, just because I want to see like what they actually offer. I think it would be really cool to see more like more skills used alongside like they said Essence Drain Contagion is cool. You use like Frost Bomb with most cold builds unless you're playing like an Inquisitor. Um, so I, I would like to see some more synergy. Kind of like how you have Warchief Totem with like every attack build. So we'll see. Some variety would definitely be nice. Anyway, let me not, let me guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what skill you want to see improved uh, or reworked. Um, I would say my number one skill right now is uh, actually not a skill. I just want I want Fire Pro Lift back because <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this is part one of part two as well. So this is this is one thing that's pretty cool. So like I said, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, remember, if you did like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitchtv pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Don't smack your forehead like me. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.